So we'll start off with the pyramid. And the pyramid is basically going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it goes down to 13, but we're going to get to level 6 because 13 belongs to Jesus Christ, Buddha, Lama, Muhammad. That's the ultimate level. That's the structure of the universe. So let's start at our home base. I was asking you the first place. So level one is the mystery. That's something that we ponder all the time. Hopefully for the rest of our lives, we will be pondering that forever. Level one, then we go down to two, which is the yin and yang, male and female. Solar, lunar. So that's level two, three. We're going into the trilogy that's negative, positive, and neutral. It could be the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. What does that mean? Well, let's ponder this. It's like there's the Father, there's the Mother, and then there's the Child. Trilogy. Then we go to four, which basically is the four seasons. What is nature trying to tell us? All around us, the answers are everywhere is in nature. Everything. The whole universe is laid out before us in nature. Thousands of years ago, we were basically living in nature. Now we're basically getting more and more removed from that. So getting into level five is where I really want to bring this to. So is your hair alive or dead? So what your mother couldn't tell you and what your hairdresser doesn't know. What your mother couldn't tell you and your hairdresser doesn't know. Your hairdressers don't know this. I've been lecturing and teaching for the last 35 years, and it's rare that I meet a hairdresser that understands any of this with the chi being stored in the hair, the five types of hair on the body, and why we don't want to put chemicals on our hair. You know, and the power of our hair is absolutely amazing. And Deep, uh, Montauk Chia, C-H-I-A, the Qigong master today in Thailand, number one, he's written a book called The Golden Elixir. So if you ever want to, like, Google that or look at it, it's all documented that the chi is stored in the hair. There's five types of hair on the body. What does that mean? There's the crown chakra, right, level one, where the chi is coming and touching our hair. Then there's the beard, number two. And as women mature, you get little beard hair, very little. Then three, you have hair in your ears, your nose, right? Eyelashes, eyebrows. Four, body hair. And five, pubic hair. So those are the five elements of hair. Then we have fire, air, earth, water, ether, five fingers, five toes, five senses. What is the universe telling us? It's simply to be aware, and when you're basically looking at your hair, it's like eating raw, right? What's in our hair care? What's in our skin care? What's in our dental care? So just be powerful. Do yourself a favor. Turn it around and look at the ingredients. Just look at the ingredients. I'm sure when you buy food, we don't go to Vaughn's and just buy canned food being raw community of a vegan, vegetarian, aware, we want to be healthy. So and your, your skin care, anything you put on your skin, you're ingesting 70% hair, dental, and that's going into our bloodstream. And where is that going? It's going into our, into our liver, our heart, our kidneys, our lungs, our organs. That's where it's being stored. And then we're designed to detox. Our whole physical body, everything, all these different dimensions are designed to detox. And if we're not detoxing, what's going to happen is called dis-ease. And that's where all these diseases are coming from. There's thousands of different types today. It's actually becoming an epidemic. And as a, hair, as a master, I'm a hair shaman. I started off as a hairdresser, and as a hair shaman, basically realizing for the first time in history, women are losing 30%. 30 of women globally are having hair thinning problems, which never existed before. Never. So we really be aware of that. Men have 70% of hair thinning problems. That's been going on for quite a long time. But women, 
if you, I'm aware of that. In the last five years, women are getting more and more hair loss. What is causing that? I look at our youth, and I look at 13, 15, 17-year-old children today, 50% hair loss. That's from the styling products. The styling products contain polymers. Do you know what polymers are? Does anyone know what polymers are? Pardon? Liquid plastic. Liquid plastic. Is that shocking? It's very shocking. And that's what we're putting on our hair for, for styling products. Of course we're going to be losing our hair. It's going to be thinning. We're basically going to have all kinds of problems. We really want to be aware and what's going on with all of those different types of things that we're putting on our body. So chemicals. So sodium lauryl sulfate is the main problem that we have with shampoos. Anything that foams is SLS. Anything. Sodium lauryl sulfate was designed in World War II to degrease factories and engines. So we just become aware of that. We, toothpaste has SLS in it, sodium lauryl sulfate. A lot of cosmetics have SLS, skin care, hair care. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We come down to all the rest of the... The tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yes. 